So Nintendo has finally given us a better way to transfer our screen captures and our game captures off of our Switch to other devices. The way you can do this first with your smartphone is if you go into the gallery itself, then you click on a particular screen share that you want, and then you click A again to bring up the options to share, and then you'll see here it gives you an option to send to smartphone. So when you see that, you want to click on that, and it's going to ask you, do you want to only send this one photo or do you want to batch a bunch of stuff together? You can batch up to 10 photos at once if you want to when you're doing a sharing right here and one video at a time when um, sharing to your smartphone here. So select what you want, I selected a few here, then go ahead and click send. Now what's gonna happen is you're gonna get some QR codes that are gonna pop up. Now this is the way this basically works. It works sort of creating its own ad hoc network. So you're gonna pull out your camera, you're gonna scan that first uh, QR code. When you scan that, it's gonna connect directly to the Nintendo Switch. Then once it's connected, the second QR code is gonna come up, you're gonna scan that QR code and that's gonna open up in a browser and that's where you should see all your photos that you've selected and you wanna download. And all you have to do is kind of hold down on it and save to download right directly onto your device. I know it's a little clunky, I wish it was Bluetooth, but that's what Nintendo's kind of provided us in this brand new update. So if you don't have these options just yet, you'll need to go ahead and update your system. And the way to do that, you wanna go into system settings, go all the way down to where it says system. Then from there, you wanna select system update. You'll see right under the update, update button, what version that you're on. And if it's not version 11, go ahead and click update and go through the update process. It'll reboot the system. And then you'll be able to get some of these new features such as transferring. Now, another way you can transfer things is also with you're connecting it to a PC as well too. So that's something I know a lot of people are really gonna, really gonna like. And the way you wanna do that is you're gonna need a USB type C or USB A to USB type C cable or type C to type C cable to be able to connect to this depending on what your computer configurations is. And the way you set this up is you wanna go in back into system settings, you wanna go down to data management, then you wanna go to manage videos and screenshots. And you wanna click on that. If you go all the way down to the bottom, you'll see the option that says connect to USB to PC. You'll see that right there at the bottom. Go ahead and hit that. Once that pops up, go ahead and plug in your Nintendo Switch to your PC and it should pop up and install and you should see a pop-up that shows it as a device. And the album device folder should just pop up automatically. If it doesn't, you can go into this PC and just kind of click there to grab it. But when you go in there, go to the album, you'll see all the folders for all the photos and screenshots shots and videos and stuff that you've taken. And then from there, you can just copy those directly off of your system right on to your PC and do as what you wish with it. I'm finally really happy to see that they're getting somewhere better with this. I'd really like to see them do, do this in sort of an app way, which would be really nice. I would love to see them be able to add this into transferring your data overall, which we do have a video about that transferring data from your Nintendo Switch to another Switch, which isn't as simple as it should be. But with this new update I've seen in here, I might revise this video, but watch this right now. If you're looking in the transferring your save data and such, I'm also probably going to dive a little bit deeper into this update. So there'll probably be a video that will pop up right now. You're just going to see what the best of YouTube recommends you. But once I have that video up, I'll post that over here as well too. Check out one of those and thanks for watching.